Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Mr. Phil Show. We've got another good episode for you. When don't we have a good episode for you? If I had a bad one, I wouldn't be putting it on. So, hey, (laughs) that's just the way it goes. All right, tonight uh, we have somebody that we met, uh, Phil and I met uh, during a thing that we were doing for the Hoboken Film Festival. We were putting together um, a music video. And this young man, when you meet him, very charming, and you'll see why we wanted to have him on the show. And I'm going to save that information for later. In the meantime, I would like to introduce to you, because he's still back there in hiding, Mr. Phil, my best friend, and hopefully yours. Here's the Mr. Phil. Are you coming? Yeah, come on out here. <laughs> Old man. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi, sweetie. How you doing today? All right. See, um, I call him old man all the time. That's why I did that this time. So you all know now when you see him, say, hi, old man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare. My wife thinks I'm a baby, though. Well, yeah, but old men can be babies. Oh. Oh, yeah, old men can really be babies. So can young men, though. Yeah, but, <laughs> but sometimes you have to treat me like a mommy, you know. That's true. That's what you I'm know. saying, yeah. yeah. When you say, okay. Shh, people don't need to hear that. Okay. Shh. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell him what to do, you know? There's, there's a reason I'm here. Uh, I just realized something. Okay, we are at the, we're at the uh, halfway point now between our telethons. That's right. Between oh my, the I'm April and the October one. Yes. Wow. So... I think the people could get busy also. That's right. Hey, if I have to get busy and I'm going to line up a great lineup of entertainment for you guys. Now, unfortunately, it's all just local people. So those of you who are seeing it in the city, don't be disappointed. You can still donate. You yes. can still send in checks and support us so that we can keep bringing you these shows. Right. Um, when you see some of the stuff we have on our sets, look and go, hmm, maybe they could use a new one of those or a new one of these. Look at the trees behind the singer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we could use new ones. Um, anyway. Yeah, so, so if you could time. donate, you know, like you don't have to wait until our telethon date no, in October. No, absolutely not. Uh, and you don't have to give us anything in October. It, you can give us all year long. We're willing to take donations. Right, we are. If you could make out your checks to Access 23 TV and send it to P.O. Box 321, Port Jervis, New York, 12771, that would be great. Yeah, and I'll have Phil repeat that again at the end of the show so that if you want to go and grab a pen and write it down, and just in case they're not ready right now. Right. But, yeah, I will have him repeat it again. Um, so we're going to, we're going to do that. Right. Uh, we also have, um, a special episode of the Mr. Phil show coming up. Right. That was kind of my idea. Um, this is his 23rd year. Right. But we're Access 23. Yes. So it's his 23rd year on Access 23. And I thought that it just might be fun because everybody's doing it, is doing a roast of Mr. Phil. So we're going to run a Mr. Phil special. It'll be a two-hour show. We're going to do live. We'll go off for a few seconds and come back with the second half. So don't go away when we put it on. We're planning for September 24th. 28th, actually. 28th? Yeah. Okay, September 28th. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, my. Something. Okay. So it should be good. Hey, and if any of the viewers have anything you want to write in and tell me to mention... Please do. My address is always on the screen uh, at the beginning and at the end of our credit uh, of our show. So do that. I can incorporate that into my little shtick. It's actually a double celebration. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Because it's, uh, what is it, 25, 26 years? It's that, but September 30th is two days later. September 30th. Oh, yeah, that's right. A big... Big one. Birthday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Yes. Mr. Phil's going to be a... No, well, I won't tell anybody. You want to tell him? <laughs> you really... Go ahead. Tell him how old you're going to be, old man. 
Oh, man. Old man. Go ahead. Numbers don't mean anything. Okay. Well, he's going to be seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it starts with a seven. He's going to be seven. And, you know, next year he'll be eight. Yeah. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. Unless he turns to six. <laughs> so, anyway, we got all that silly stuff. But uh, it, it, this weekend, yes. Saturday, uh, not this weekend, tomorrow. Tomorrow is starts tonight. This starting at this weekend. Tomorrow we're going to the um, a preview of the very new Catskill Film Festival, put on by Charles Marinaro and friends. Yes, transcending pictures. Transcending pictures. It's going to be the preview. Is a free preview. Anybody that's within our listening area tonight, um, it's going to be up at uh, Sullivan County College. Right. And that, that's, it's a free preview. You know, you come in and, and see what's going on. And we're encouraging people to, to show up. And um, the actual date of the film festival is September 7th. 7th, Friday, September 7th, Saturday, September 8th, and Sunday, September 9th. Right. Uh, Friday, uh, we won't be bringing you a show here. You'll just see... Yeah. A rerun that night because we'll We're be. We're going to be there. We're going to be there <laughs> for this big, uh, you know, first time. It's a, a yeah, it's very new first time. They work very very hard on this. Uh, they put a lot of their own money into this, and it's it's not planning on making money this year, but getting noticed and trying to build build up for the next coming years because they want to. Right. This going up. We want to build the cat skills up again. Yes, we do. So, you know, uh, with the opening of the new casino, right, uh, in Monticello, this will add to it even more. Oh, it certainly will. Yeah, yeah. With the casinos and stuff, and then we, if we get the uh, the film festival going, and people have a lot of things to do when they come into town. Right. So it'll be nice. And we have the old-fashioned Catskills back up and running, hopefully. The Borscht Belt. The Borscht Belt. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Anybody who doesn't know what that means, ask your grandparents. <laughs> 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 Especially all you all in the city. You'll, they'll know what it is. Right. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was the getaway for a lot of people down in the city for a long time. Right. And, uh, you know, it has since fallen off. And we're trying to make it, build it back up again. You know, it's funny. A lot of the, a lot, a lot of the stars started up there. They did. Yes. Henny so, Youngman. Yes. Henny Youngman was one of the ones that started up there, right. wasn't he? I yes, mean, and so uh, did Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis started up there. And yeah. All of them started. So it's it's funny. Um, now when they ask me, did you ever perform in the Borscht Belt? I could say yes. Yeah, that's right. Yes, you can. <laughs> now you can say you did, and you know we're going up there to represent our show as the local celebrities. Yes, and I'll be pushing our show for us. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We're hoping to be able to perform. We don't know yet, so don't get your hopes up. <laughs> right. Next week when we come on, we will give you all the specifics because that's when we'll we'll get them tomorrow. We'll be able to bring them all to you next week. Right. Yeah, so that, that'll that be good, and we can kind of give you an idea. Maybe we can give you the lowdown on who's expected to be there. Right. Besides us. Yes, besides. We know you want to come out and see us. Now, come on. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> and we always get around those people, too. Yes, we do. We, we've made so many friends. Just going to the Hoboken Film Festival. Yeah, think right. Think of the friends we've made and connections we've made there. We've been there for three years now. Three years. And, and I mean, now it's nice because we go in there, and it's like, you know, like you say, summer camp. The summer <laughs> camp. <laughs> <laughs> we're going back and we're meeting all our old friends again, and we get to hang out together for a couple of days, and then everybody goes back for the next till the next year. But it's always interesting. And then now with Facebook, of course, we can follow each other. Oh yeah. And see what's going on. It, it's it's a lot of fun. Right, and Josephine involved in both of these things. Yes, Josephine Bloom, Moon Bloomfield. She is very heavily involved in these things. Yes. So we're going to have to have her on when we get closer to that and let her talk about that. Yeah, it's funny with her, the way she takes pictures of everything. With her in it first. Yes. Yes, selfies of her with everything. (laughs) With everything. (laughs) (laughs) Every person, everything that she's taking a picture of, even if it's a picture of a picture, she's got to, it's a selfie. 
kids. So it, it's cute because you always know, oh, that's Josephine. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so uh, our, our guest tonight, as a matter of fact, uh, the last Hoboken Festival that we went to, they did um, a video. Right. And Phil and I were part of that video. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It was sung by Mike Flowers. It was uh, arranged. Uh, it was arranged by Joe Woolley. Was that arranged by Joe? I think so. I think so. I'm not 100% sure. So, so guys, if I'm wrong, don't hate me. They will be on a future show, so I know they're going to correct me. Oh, man, we got lots of people coming. Yeah. Um, uh, but anyway, it was, a, it was a lot of fun. And uh, our guest tonight, we met him there. And uh, we kind of hit it off, and we were talking. And so I was like, yeah, you got original stuff? Yeah. Like, all right. I want to get you to come on our show. And right. you know what? He drove all the way up here from the city, which, for those of you who don't know as far as the lo how long it takes, it's about two hours. That's without traffic, right? Yeah, two hours without traffic. And it was an extremely rainy night today, you know, tonight, and going through heavy downpours, all that kind of stuff. So, um, poor Jeremiah. He's <laughs> I was on the phone with him a couple times, just making sure. I want to make sure he's going to get here okay. Yeah. And he did. He's all in one piece, I right. promise. I don't know if your mom's watching or not, but, yes, he's in one piece, and he's good. <laughs> what was funny about that uh, film festival was um, we were, like, in the background yeah, for we that. Yeah, we were extras, yeah. We were the extras. So, uh they, they gave us a limit of where we could walk. Right. So. Oh, gosh. Oh. It was so funny. So I'm dying for a cup of coffee, okay? <laughs> and the, co the coffee uh, is on the other side of the line. Now, the man himself running it didn't care, you know. Well, explain to them what the line was. We were segregated. Yeah. The, you know. They said the actors... We're on one side. Actors got the, everything, and the extras, you, you, you know, you want some? You, you got to go pay for it. So, uh, <laughs> here, Mary is booking our guest tonight. Yes. So, I'm going over while she's doing that, grabbing a cup of coffee. So, somebody who didn't know us mm -hmm. walks over to me and says, you know, you weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah. So I said, but you're going to throw that coffee out anyway. Mm -hmm. You're going to throw it out anyway. Even it's so. It's true. But it wasn't meant for you. <laughs> yeah, it's not for you. You're not supposed to cross that line. <laughs> uh, so I said, and why not? Well, because that's for the actors and, you know, the people that are. The, the performers. The performers yeah. that are like the celebrities that we brought up. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we were just peons. Yeah, I Gosh. said. So in the meantime, she's telling this guy, this is the best I could do for you because this is all I got. <laughs> yeah. We are always booked. We just happen to have this day. I said, mm -hmm. okay, so in other words, you say, uh, we're, we're not That's anything, true. right? Right. I, I said, look over there. What's going on over there? Yeah, I'm booking people. I, yeah. you know, I, 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 you know, I'm not a talent agent, but I do have to book people for right. our show, and uh, <laughs> you know, talent agent, I guess, of sorts. Right. For our show, at least. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, and Ken came over, and uh, Ken Del Vecchio, and uh, I guess it didn't matter to him. Yeah, the gig. It didn't yeah. really matter to him. Ken oh yeah, Del hugging I mean, us. He's, he's, he's a good friend. Yeah, good. Know. He's hugging us and all oh, that. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, him so. and his wife and all that. And it was so funny. Then uh, we meet again at the festival itself, the hobo. Yeah. And this woman says to me, I see who you really are. <laughs> I see who you really are. Wow. Because here we are. They're talking about our TV show over on the right, red carpet. Right. And say, you know, we've had you here for a few years and all that. And, well, uh, the people that were involved in, in doing the um, video just they, they really didn't know so we can't hold that against no. them, you know so it, it's okay it's not a big deal yeah that was just it was interesting though it was very it was very interesting and we got jeremiah from that you know and and all these people that we know now we're going to get to introduce him to the next time hopefully he can make the actual film, film festival we're going to talk to him about all that kind of stuff um before we actually get into too much about all of that though 
Yeah. Um, you wanted to do a song tonight. Yeah, uh, it's a song that I have to do tonight because y yesterday would have been my sister Harriet uh, Kaplan Rubin. It would have been her 74th birthday. Wow. It was five years ago yesterday that I talked to her for the last time. Wow. That's that's really amazing. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm sorry that you lost her, but she's there and she's watching you. Right. You know, with your mom and your dad. Yes. And my dad. Yes, yes. And my dad, absolutely. They're up there patting each other on the backs. Look what we did. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, she when she spoke to me then, uh, she didn't tell me, how right. bad it really was. That's what a big sister does. She protects her little brother. Right. You know that. Oh. Yeah, you know that. Come on. Yes. So. I yeah. know that. You know, so uh, at that time, she's, yeah. she was starting to do better. Mm. She, wa she didn't tell me about it until then, but she explained. But she was really starting. She yeah. was wor back working, traveling to Florida. She was, you know, really doing her thing. And right. this, you know, so right. Um, Unfortunately, it's one of those you know unpredictable things. Right. You know, cancer is a very unpredictable thing, and a lot of times people will get really in, in good shape before all of a sudden they just downhill. Right. I mean, she it's she did have shame. it for the, before that. You know, for the past since for the past uh, three quarters of the year before that. Right. And then she and uh, you know at that point she she was starting to do very well again. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so, and then all of a sudden, it just went down. Mm -hmm. And the part, the part about it, it's like she said to me, "I'll, I'll take this for you," because uh, around Labor Day, when this all happened, mm -hmm. um, I had been losing a lot of weight. All of a sudden, just losing a lot of weight, and then oh. my doctor s actually s uh, said that at that point. You know, you could be in the fourth stage. So I said, oh. but I don't have cancer. He said, but you've had it. We're going to have to check you out and all that. Right. And I was just like losing weight every time I got on the scale and all yeah. that. Yeah. And uh, it, even Zarina who got all panicky when she came to a show here mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. And I went, got all those tests. Right. And they didn't find anything. Right. And well, what Phil is referring to is is his bout with kidney cancer. For those of you who don't know, he is a 17 year, 18, 18 year survivor now of kidney cancer. Yeah. Living with one kidney, he's still here and he's still kicking ass. So. Right. So that day, <laughs> you know, that that was, you know, I went through all those tests yeah. and all that, yeah. and you know. Fortunately, they didn't find nothing. And I found out the good news. You wouldn't believe, not even in the doctor's office. Really? Uh, our friend, you know, Dr. Emily Gordon? Yes. It was Rosh Hashanah. Oh. We were in the synagogue. And we're walking by. They gave, it was the first day, so they gave me the honor of carrying mm -hmm. the Torah. Mm -hmm. And as I'm walking by and, you know, they touch the Torah and kiss it. Yes. I've she, <laughs> I, I get to her and she says, "Good news, everything is good. You're fine. Keep going the way you're going." Oh, it's a good thing you didn't drop the Torah. <laughs> yeah, right. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, the song he's done. You guys have heard it. You might even be able to sing along with it at this point. Uh, One red rose. Right. So Phil, why don't you go ahead over, do one red rose, and I got a little news of my own. I still want to, you know, before I'm updating people on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. As a matter of fact, you know what? While you're going over there and you're doing that, I'm going to pull Jeremiah over here for a minute. You can keep an eye. This way you can watch Phil. Uh, since you know him and you didn't get to see him perform or anything, right? So, no. Everybody, this is Jeremiah. And this is, here we go with Phil. All right. No crying, Phil. No. <laughs> one red rose, one sweet rose for your birthday. 
As I stand by your graveside to pray, though you'll put No one could ever take your place. I know you're gone. Your memories live on. We think about you every day. The good times, the fun we had when we were kids with our parents, when they took us to all these places. Those were great days. One red rose, one sweet rose for your birthday. As I stand by your graveside to pray, though you're gone, I can't go on here without you. sitting on the couch, <laughs> Jeremiah, <laughs> oh, all right, wait a minute, hold it, Yeah. okay, <laughs> just checking for tears, because he, he, he cries all the time, <laughs> so my, my, my update that I wanted to give everybody, and that's why I pulled you over, just because I know you hadn't heard anything about it, I'm going to be a grandma, Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I took my daughter today for her first ultrasound. We are now thir three, 13 weeks and four days. Wow. And the little peanut would not sit still for them to get measurements. It took them a while. They had to try to get peanut to stay still. Peanut's what I called my grandchild because well. I don't know what it is yet. Uh, <laughs> so peanut didn't stay still. Finally, peanut turns its head toward the okay. thing. And we got pictures. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I know grandma don't stay still. I know what I grandma's know. like when well, yeah. we go out to karaoke. How you, <laughs> you <laughs> when you got you remember when they were asking us to dance at the um yeah you yeah you remember I got up and yeah was, when everybody was in the middle of the floor yeah, and had to dance together I got yeah up and dance too. I'm like probably the oldest person that was standing there dancing like a fool but you know I like to boogie. Let me tell you something, <laughs> folks. What this girl did, uh, we went to a place and a bunch of uh, camp councils from. Oh, New York my. City came in. It was a Saturday <laughs> night. To, 
and uh, the DJ put on dance music. Would you believe she oh, outdanced dear. all of them? These were 18 year old kids from the city. They were city dropping. kids. They couldn't keep up with her. They were dropping. Yeah, she said, What's the problem? What's your problem? Every time somebody went over to sit down, I just kept on dancing. I danced over them. Come on, come on, get up, back up, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> I'm older than you. You can, get, you can definitely move. Ah, I'm too tired. I'm like, Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do that to me? Leave you out in the middle of the floor yeah, to dance? Man. No, no, I would get out there and, and even if it made you go boom on the floor and you're done, right? <laughs> Come on. I guess. I, I, actually, I think you came out at the when we were doing the Hoboken Film Festival. Like I said, that's that's where we met Jeremiah. We were doing the uh, the uh, video shoot for that. And uh, did you 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 got out? And yeah, and um, they like picked like three of us to like go out in the front, and I was one of the people who was like helping them teach like yes. the dance. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. And I'm trying. <laughs> uh, first of all, I don't do line dancing or any kind of stuff. I just I go with my own thing. Okay. And you know, like that was all right. Ken right. liked all the you know Ken Anthony was there, he, and Joe Willie and all these people. They all liked the energy. Right. <laughs> right. I could have never done a scene where everybody was doing. They never really did use that, though. Yeah, they just, like, I, guess, I guess they were just getting, like, as many pieces as, as they many, could together. Yeah, you know? exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, I had to leave before they actually did the dance scene. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, yeah. I left a little early as well, but. Were, I, did you get a, did they get video of you in it? Um, I got, yeah, I think I got a piece in it, but, like, you could, they kept taking breaks and stuff like that. Yeah. You remember in between, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I mean, how long did it take to, to film the downstairs portion in the restaurant? That was a long wow. time. Wow, that was at least at least two hours. Oh, least. Least. maybe even longer. That, I know they took a break, and then they we went We were in a part down. of that. At the, 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 the restaurant scene. The restaurant scene. You yeah, know, we were yeah. There where, you know, they we were, were well getting, visible. I, I don't know if you, did you see the the video at all um i didn't see any clips after no, no. you oh, wow. you've already seen like the yeah actually i think if yeah. you um <laughs> if you go to the, the hoboken film festival uh website yeah whatever, they got it in the there. um <laughs> the video should be there oh it's on the site yeah. okay i'm gonna check yeah. it out <laughs> mike flowers is singing and um the the girl that was doing the lead that she it was supposed to be like a fantasy mm -hmm. yeah. type thing and it was really very very well done hmm. it was really good you know wow. and uh, you'll see us in there and I I'll have to look now I have to go back and look <laughs> see if I can catch some see clips see if you go, like if, dancing yeah, <laughs> if they catch you dancing yeah. or not you know see we <laughs> so. it was our third one the first one yeah, that we went to it's three times now it was in Middletown at the historic Paramount Theater. Really? Yeah, I yeah. I went to, to me Close it was my home, fourth was one. Great. I started 2015 with them. Yep. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Walk the red carpet in our own hometown, which was great. Yeah, yeah. Like did you ever think about that when you were younger like that you oh. would be doing what you do now? No. I mean, you know, every kid I think probably at some point thinks about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's always a, a passing fantasy of some sort. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now we actually really got to do it and yeah, what's interesting for me is it's so late in life to for, for this stuff to happen mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm glad to see that you're you've got this kid's got a lot going on. Let me tell you, <laughs> there's a lot going on. I'm sitting there before trying to talk about what's gonna go on, what's going on. I'm like you know what? Never mind. We're gonna talk about it during the show because yeah. he's got a lot. <laughs> so yeah. all right, now you're not gonna be involved with the Catskill Festival, mm -hmm. okay? But hopefully with the next Hoboken. In the meantime, you were telling me you're going to be going out to California. Mm -hmm. So, fill me in. So, uh, well, for one, um, um, I moved to New York this year. Um, from? From Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, okay. I yeah. used to live in Virginia for a while. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so you know a complete different change of pace. Yes, absolutely. Um, and, and I didn't realize, like, I didn't realize what that pace was until, like, I went back home to visit. And I saw like wow, like first you go first you go to the city, you go to New York and you see how fast it is. Right. And then you go back, you know, to the south and you're like, Wow, it's it's slower than I Especially Baltimore. Remembered. You are th thinking Baltimore Baltimore's a big city, you know, it's a big city. It's yeah. you know, people think, Oh yeah, there's a lot going on there. Uh, well, compared to New York City, 
Wow. I mean, there's no comparison, yeah. right? No. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing. <laughs> My mother was born in Baltimore. <laughs> oh, wow. The only yeah. thing I think about is Camden Yards with the Baltimore <laughs> Orioles. Oh, yeah. oh, that's like, it's like classic. It's still, it's still that's there. a place to go if you visit. It's definitely like the whole Inner Harbor. Yeah, um, yeah. My husband went there uh, with my son when we, when we lived down in Virginia. Mm -hmm. And he said, first of all, he said it was in a really bad neighborhood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody come up to him like, you know, man, uh, give me a couple bucks. I'll watch your car for you. I was like, yeah, you can watch your car for you. If you don't give me a couple bucks, I'll make sure his friends come around the corner and take your car from you. <laughs> <laughs> That's possible. That's possible. It was funny. They were like, uh, do we pay this guy or not? You know, what do we do with the car? <laughs> My son, I think, was about uh, 12 at the time. Oh, wow. So yeah, it, it, yeah. Was, it was funny. But uh, you'll, have, you'll have to ask him about that later after the show. You'll yeah. have to ask him about that yeah, later. Wow. That, was, that was really something. <laughs> so that, that was fun. But, uh, yeah. Um, oh, but uh, as far as, like, Cali and um, I've, I've yet to visit the West Coast. And, oh, um, you I know. Me neither. Can I stow away? <laughs> It's like, it's like, uh, you know, after going from um, Baltimore to New York and then like just being able to even go visit the West Coast, you know, um, all in the same year is like really cool because. You'll love I've, it. Yeah. You've been there? He's yes. Been there. I've been there because I did the Jimmy Kimmel show twice. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. A you know, a few years ago. Um, and yeah, that, well, you visited there a couple times too, didn't you? Plus, I visited the West right. Coast with Sandy right. when we were younger and mm -hmm. all that. But so you guys that, have to get together and like you <laughs> have to fill him in on some of the stuff he's got to look at. Right. There. The business. I tell you, I um, first time I went there. So when I was on a Jimmy Kimmel show afterwards, we all went back with all the celebrities to the green room for a party afterwards. Right. Mm -hmm. So this one, uh, I'm talking to one of them, and I said. At that time, I said, I got eight years in the business. Uh, I got 12 years in the business. I said, so she says, I only got eight. And she says, look how far I'm ahead of you. So I said, how could that be? So she said, because you're on the, at that time, she said, you're on the wrong coast. Because she said, New York, this was back in 2004, New York is good if you are theatrical, mm -hmm. musical theater, into plays. Mm. The West Coast is good if you're into films. Right. Uh, commercials even though they do it on both coasts and tv if you're a tv person this is why hmm. where you belong mm. so what kind of thing are you going to be doing i know you're going to visit and have some vacation time mm -hmm. but you got business stuff you're doing there too um like to a degree i guess i'm um i'm scouting as well okay. just like um you know to see if like maybe that's somewhere that i want to stay um, as right. well, I don't know. I, I want to travel as much as possible, you know. But um, but yeah, I didn't. I, I do know that like that's another hot spot for you know. It's oh, a yeah. hot spot for like what we do and all that. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, there's much more competition out there mm -hmm. yeah. than there is on this coast. Really, yeah. I mean, well. I thought about it, and I wouldn't be able to just grab a career like this, like I have over here, mm. right? With everything that's fallen in my lap, like mm -hmm. the this station, this show, right? Uh, all these uh, other goodies, these mu uh, movie festivals, music festivals, out there, you know, they wouldn't just be giving you here, take this show, start mm -hmm. doing it. That's why they're all waiters and waitresses. You know? uh, okay. <laughs> they've got a. They have to do auditions, and then they've got to go and make some money so they can, yeah. they can live. So wow. Hopefully, when you get there, maybe you'll be able to look up a few agents and stuff. And yeah. Talk to some people. Yeah, because I feel like after being in New York um, and seeing and, and seeing how things move, you know, right. and, and also, like, developing that, that mindset that New York has, you know, yes. I, I think it's, it's really good for, like, um, kind of opening your mind to, like, it's like the world in one in one place. Well, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the way I could, agents, you know, on the new on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. Before I talk about the West Coast, the East Coast, I could teach you this much. It's not easy like it was before. Even with my experience of all I've been doing, I don't have an agent. Yeah. Back in the late '90s, into the early millennium. I kid you not, at one point I had at least four or five agents. Right. Now there's so many. Now people. I have 
None. <laughs> For many, many years. Mm. I used to have agents. I used to get called out on auditions. Mm -hmm. uh, I could get in with any talent agent back then. And this is when I was just a rookie at mm. this. I even got a commercial all the way back in 97. And now that it's very hard to get in and with anybody. The competition is fierce. Right. Uh, you're saying like, you're saying on both coasts, were you doing worse work it could in be New York? It could be. It could be tougher because the business is tougher over there. So the agents, before if they won't take you on New York with all this experience, mm -hmm. because um, when Mary joined forces with me, there was an agent that I had mm -hmm. that I happened to look up, mm. and I called her up mm -hmm. about coming back to her. Mm. And I had already worked for her. For wow quite a few years hmm. and I said now I have a partner there's two of us mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. and uh, she would not she would not take us on wow yeah yeah no I mean you got to go in there with you know complete conviction and, hmm. and tell them you got to be convinced you are <laughs> the one they need. Wow. Like you you're, you're telling need. them that they... You <laughs> need to walk in and make them believe you need me. Not mm. I need you. Mm. You need me. Mm. Wow. That's that's the mindset, you know. Right. Uh, See, and what they that, try to say to us is, she try to say, I'm more of a beginner's agent. Wow. Like I was with, mm. with you mm. years ago. Right. She said, but at this stage in the game, she says... Yeah. I don't think it would work between us. Right. No, she's not even in Manhattan. She's in Qu uh, in Queens, all the way out, uh, almost in Nassau County. Mm -hmm. And she would not take neither of us. I said, but what about Mary? <laughs> so she said, same thing. Yeah. Mm. She's right up there with you doing the same thing. She might have jumped on the bandwagon, you know, just in the last few years, but she's still following mm -hmm. a career yeah. mm -hmm. of, uh, you know, going at that time going on 25 years. So she mm -hmm. said, right. Yeah. So it, it goes, you know, for both of you, they like to, to uh, get people out of college mm. that they could get them to take. Well, it's just, you know, he's got a little bit more advantage, I think, than we do at this point. <laughs> right. <laughs> a little younger than us. So yeah. I think that, that's going to work. Okay. Uh, right. So you do music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that your main thing? To have you done any acting or um, anything like that? Yeah. Or so theater. Living in Baltimore, I did some. Um, I did some work with The Wire on HBO. Oh, really? Um, Very nice. That was like some of the first like you know camera work that I had. Nice. Um, in front of the camera. Yeah, yeah. In front of the camera, oh. I had some like you know cutaway shots and um, okay. some background work. I was really young. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I do that, uh, music production, I'm a producer, uh, singer, songwriter, um, and yeah, some acting, I do multimedia, so I do uh, some design for, like, graphic design, photography, and I just like to express myself creatively Which, as in you know, any way possible. Like, yeah, yeah, anything that I can get my hands into and yeah. put my, my creative flyer into, I, I, I just, you know, right. it's just something I enjoy doing, mm -hmm. so, uh, you know, tonight, Jeremiah did bring uh, a backtrack to to show us one of the things. Then, did you did you write this? Yeah, song? I I, uh, I wrote this song um, a little while ago, but I I just freshly produced this track just for tonight. And, wow! Uh, and oh, I'm, we're honored. Yeah, <laughs> no problem. Um, yeah, and I'm I would be debuting the track, uh, so this is the first time it'll be heard actually. Right. So. Okay. Cool. And. Oh, and then hey, as a bonus, he also said he's going to do a cappella for us. Yeah, I'll do a little something. And I something. love a cappella. I mean, because I'm one, to, I'll break into song wherever I am. I don't have to have music. I got the music right. It's right. Here, it's here, it's here. You don't need no musicians. Right, you know? right, right. I'm the musician. You're right. You're the musician. You're do right. you also sing cover music too? Yeah, I, I do covers. Um, yeah, I've like I really like the um, '90s R&B. Yeah, really into because that. you know what you could do? If you live in the city, mm -hmm. there's a place on 46th Street called Don't Tell Mamas. It's mm -hmm. a cabaret club. You could go in there, and it's a piano bar, and they'll play, you know, they'll play for you, and you could sing 
to the to the dinner crowd and then the cocktail crowd afterwards mm. and stuff like that. They have people going up. It's like yeah. uh, a very formal open mic. And mm. something like that, you never know who's going to be sitting Absolutely. there Absolutely. Absolutely. You, you know. know that they might actually see you. So. <laughs> right. Oh. That's, I mean, that, that's what happened to me when I walked into the Holiday Inn. <laughs> yeah. And my first time doing karaoke, I never knew who was going to be there. Well, mm-hmm. Guess who was there? <laughs> really? Oh, so that's how you guys that's met. That's how we met. Interesting. Yeah. So, and then the whole thing just blew up within <laughs> what three months not even three months it was just like went from me doing a christmas appearance mm-hmm. to becoming his you know co-host and i was like well okay you need a director now boom i'm the director and we had a- another producer in the back and my husband started helping him out he wanted to take a leave mm. now my husband's a producer so i mean it's just like within three years it's like bam yeah everything at once within so, like in other words, we met on November thirteenth. Two months later, she took over the show. Yeah. Unexpectedly. Yeah. Yep. Wow. So, anyway, I don't want to waste too much time because I do want to hear <laughs> what you got. Okay. I do, especially because now that you said you you, you went and you're going to debut this tonight. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. produces <laughs> tonight's show. I'm like, I'm, I'm so excited. I think it's terrific. Yeah. So, uh, you you do your thing and. Um, then we're going to come over and we'll, we'll kind of talk. And okay. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. And, I definitely uh, will talk more to you guys as well. Like, And uh, you know what? When when you're around and, yeah. and you feel – when you've got something else going on, mm-hmm. when you get back from California, mm-hmm. give me a call. Okay. And we, we get you back on. We'll okay. talk about your experiences. Okay. Because it's yes, all different right. kinds <laughs> of stuff. People that watch this show, yeah. they see people come on here yeah. with their originals, and they want to know how they're doing and mm-hmm. where they're going. Okay. And what things are going on. Yeah, and like see and how things we like, like progress. To follow people. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So you know, we, we want to follow you. Awesome. All right. So <laughs> yeah. let me let you get up and and go get yourself <laughs> together. Alrighty. All right. This is Jeremiah Briley, everybody. That's right. So I'm I'm, I'm excited. I I didn't know he was going to do something special and produce something for us tonight and yeah. you know debut it. That's outstanding. Oh yeah. You know, it's a first for us. Yes, only on the Mr. Phil show. That's right. That's right. You know what? We get some of the most special people here. Yes, we do. And people that don't see us, man, if you know somebody that hasn't seen our show, you need to have them tune in and see our show. Right. Even if they only catch older episodes on YouTube, look up YouTube, the Mr. Phil show. All right. Well, we're going to turn it over to Jeremiah Briley. Take it over. We're just waiting for the tracks. All right, no problem. Swimming inside of dreams Is it love? Do you know what it means? Is it real? Do you want it to be? We can take it slow and gradually pick up the speed If it's real, then just let me know And if it ain't, then just let it go Keep it real, baby, we can talk If it's meant to be, maybe we can grow If it ain't, and then I'm moving on And I'ma let it be, I'ma let it breathe And if it's real, oh, then just let me know And if it ain't then let's let it go Let's go on a date Trying to penetrate ya Hotter than the H That's how I'ma make ya I like to meditate Look like we doing yoga Tantric flip ya Time to get the legs up Passion We can make a fire Making magic When I love ya Hit you up I'ma catch you later I'ma hit it right Hit me up When you need some Liquid love Swimming inside a dream Is it love? Do you know what it means? Is it real? Do you want it to be? We can take it slow and gradually pick up the speed. If it's real, then just let me know. And if it ain't, then let's let it go. Keep it real, baby, we can talk. If it's meant to be, maybe we can grow. 
If it ain't, uh, then I'm moving on. I'ma let it be, I'ma let it breathe. If it's real, uh, then just let me know. Uh, if it ain't, then just let it go. Uh, I can be the pen. You can be the paper, let me fill you in I'm the answer to your question I could be the papa, you could be the ma Uh-oh, you can be the passenger and I can drive I'ma whip it good if you down the ride Do it to you good, make it feel alright Do it so good, we can go all night Yeah, yeah, yeah with love, swimming inside a dream Is it love, do you know what it means? Is it real, do you want it to be? We can take it slow and gradually pick up the speed If it's real, then just let me know And if it ain't, then let's let it go Keep it real, baby, we can talk If it's meant to be, maybe we can grow If it ain't, oh, then I'm moving on And I'ma let it be, I'ma let it breathe If it's real, oh, then just let me know And if it ain't, then let's let it go Oh, baby, let me know La 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 Kicking the illest notion, my kid is flowing just like the ocean. You can check out and rewind the dopest track. I'm talking about the current, yeah. I'm talking like a poet. You should just listen to how I wrote it. My knowledge ancient and prehistoric, and I promise you that they gon' quote it. You cannot, you cannot duplicate it. Double no copy, no replication. Make a new copy, so cop the tape when rolling that sticky roll in and tape it. Do the work now and I profit later. Put in the labor to stack the paper. If it's active, then I make it passive. If it's passive, then I'm motion active. Let me all sleep and we still in action. Even on vacation, stone stacking. New shorties I've been attracting, I feel an attraction. No, yeah, they attract us like an Asian and black. A couple lines mixed with Asian and black. Speak Spanish, Blazing, I'm standing, but other language, foreign around, talking amazing. My mind on another planet. When I spit on the track, no, I'm bringing heat. When I'm bringing on track, no, I'm bringing damage. Shorty told me that she trying to meet. Lyrical formation look like a sandwich, bringing home the bacon, so she trying to beat. Making beats, when I gotta eat. Grand kicking, life sweet. Woo! <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Was in the zone for a second. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Thank you. Fade that one. <laughs> Nice little island vibe, a nice little island vibe, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, everybody's getting vibe. It's good vibes in the stew. <laughs> you can fade that one. Yeah, I'll run the acapella for you guys next. <laughs> Thank you. That was um, that was my song. It's called Liquid Love. Um, it'll be available soon. Uh, so yeah, when you follow my social media links, I'll put a big blast out for it. Um, and all the visuals and things like that are coming together. So yeah. So yeah, this one's untitled right now, but <laughs> well, we can keep it cool. And she think I'm bad news. I beg to differ. Yeah, baby, don't let nobody tell you. I just wanna kiss your lips. Yeah, I ain't even trying to rush. If you want, maybe then you can strip. Yeah, smooth talk, let me test my luck. You know I came such a long way. And I'm still holding on to just a memory, just a fantasy. You know I'm still holding on to. Thoughts of the things that we could do But it's still a mystery Holding back but you're feeling me 
It's too quiet alone. I'm lost in my thoughts. You never pick up the phone. A spark with the flame gone. Trying to go with the flow. I ain't been the same since. Caught between a high and a low. Different day with the same. <laughs> All right, that's that's what I got for you guys. <laughs> so that's cool, right? He's laughing because, like, I'm over there and I'm like, you know, bouncing, dancing. You know, we got it. We got it. <laughs> I'm good. a cool mama, you know. I know how to do this kind yeah. of stuff. <laughs> Let me, uh, you want to go over on that side? Yeah, yeah, I, usually, every time I go on that side, I'm always like off camera for some reason. I stand back too far, so you know. See, see, see. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're good. We're cool. So, how long does it take you to do to to like write and write something like that? Um, the first one. Let's go with the first one first. Yeah. So, like, Liquid Love. I wrote that probably like um, at least like a year ago, and. Uh, I guess I usually do everything in one session, like while I'm feeling, um, you know, while I'm feeling right. like that, that emotion at that time okay. or experiencing that like real thing in my life. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, um, yeah. So I guess it probably took me like two hours. I usually produce while I'm writing. So okay. I do it like all at once. Cause it's like, it's a vibe. It's a feeling. If, if you don't go with the flow <laughs> and it's when it's flowing. Exactly. That's because what? the next day. I could write something to it, but it might it might be a little different, uh, right? Versus like a streamlined, just it's true. Feeling, yeah. you know? I mean, I, I I will wake up in the middle of the night with like poetry and or, and you yeah. know like things in my head, and I put it down and I wait and a couple months later, or so I'll read it and then maybe I'll make a little tweak here and there. Right. Mm -hmm. But you really don't want to mess it up. Yeah. Yeah. You no, know, you want it to be raw and right. right there. Yeah, right. I like the fact that you you, you named it liquid. <laughs> liquid love. <laughs> liquid. Yeah. Yeah. Liquid love, because it's always there's a little so what flow are you gonna do to with it. it. Yeah. Are you going to yeah. record it? Yeah, you it's, know, it's recorded. It a, it I have is. a recorded version. Oh so wow! It's going to be ready to drop. It's going to so be ready see? to drop. So see, oh, so you came, you did it, uh, you did it live, you did it I live did it for us, yes, live which for is great. Guys. Instead wow. of bringing us just a track yeah. that you already, so now I you love it. Be. I love it. That's great. And then, what about the second one that you just? Uh, are you just working one, on that? Yeah. Or? Um, what are you planning on doing with that? I've I've been working on I I don't know I have at least I have at least 40 or 50 songs Ooh. finished. Okay. Um, but you know it's all about timing. It's yeah. all about timing. So. Yeah, I have I have a lot of work that's like it's still brewing, but you know uh -huh, it's gonna uh -huh. it's gonna come together. Okay. okay. Do you uh, do you like bring a pad and pen around with you so you like you can like in my phone or your phone? Yeah, my phone. there All you the go. Time. Yeah, 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 you know what? I'm so old fashioned. What can I tell you? Pen, pen and paper. No, I do I do have a I do have a book of like all the first lyrics I ever wrote. Really? And it's like this thick. Oh, you got to save and that. Yes. It, you know, it's handwritten, yeah. and there's nothing like writing. By oh hand no, either, no. You know? There's, there's really not, and that's something you gotta save and, and pass down actually yeah. through the generations. Yeah. So people have your handwriting and your feel on that page. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like that. Right. I look now, <laughs> even back now, I go through my grandmother's recipes just to feel mm -hmm. her feel on that page. <laughs> so I tell my daughter, you know, anybody that's doing that, write, write it down. Mm -hmm. Use your hands. Mm -hmm. so your emotions are going into the paper. <laughs> yeah. You know. It's like a real moment. It's like. Yeah. You know, I mean, getting the voice is, you know, that's one thing. Yeah. That's a voice. It's not the same feeling mm -hmm. as the touch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, keep writing, man. Well, keep yeah, writing, that's you know? right. Keep writing, you know. <laughs> so, get uh, yourself out there because now that you're going to a new location, you're going to need the big boys <laughs> yeah. out there. Yeah. So okay? how long do you plan on that's staying out there? Um, this one is just a visit. Uh, so I'll probably be, like, returning, like, um, within a week or two. Oh, but, that's a quick know, visit. It's a quick visit. Yeah, okay. But, um, but yeah. You going by yourself? No, my girlfriend. Oh, my girlfriend cool. Yeah. Mm. That's yeah. cool. That'll be a nice, nice little uh, vacation yeah. to get you, out there on the let beach. Let me ask you something. Do you do karaoke? I, yeah, I have before. Okay, because <laughs> out there, that's where you should go while you're out there, like oh, at night. Yeah. while you Okay. During your nights, while you're out there, make sure, make sure you go out, because the karaoke spots out there are serious. Okay. You're talking about heavy hitters and 
Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you don't know who's sitting there and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. It's not just uh, it's true. what mm -hmm. goes on, like, you know, here mm -hmm. with, a, mm -hmm. you know, just a, a bunch of uh, people. But you know what? But here you never know, too. Like I said before, I, you never know. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I wouldn't have known that I would end up. I've been singing since I was eight years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, mm -hmm. I've had bands with my husband and stuff, and I've always done, like, production stuff, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. community plays mm -hmm. and church things and. Now look at this. Right. You, never you, know? Know. Yeah. you never know who's sitting there. It's true. You're right. But, so uh, true. Just like the, the festival, like I met you guys. Yeah, right. Right, you know, right. I, exactly. Just the whole way that happened, like, um, and then, you know. It, and right. if it's going to happen, if it's meant to happen, it's going to happen. I Absolutely. mean, Absolutely. let's put it this way. Uh, it's happened where we, we go to the next step up. An open, for what we need for this mm -hmm. show, open mic nights we go to. Okay. Yeah. And we've gotten people from the open mic nights come in here mm -hmm. and they've gotten careers really yeah, yeah. We've, we've had one of the one of the kids that uh, phil started was mm. before my time mm -hmm. actually won the voice wow yeah in yeah. fact she was just about in your era she was, came on our just show before me two th mm -hmm. october uh two thousand yeah yeah, yeah, it's, uh, don't wreck your brain, you know. But, uh, no, yeah, no. she's still he's on the voice. Have, he's having a birthday soon. We don't want to wreck his brain, right? And we have another one on America Got Talent. America's Got Talent. That was recent. You know, she started on our show also. Really? Yeah, so. Yeah, so you yeah, it's, never. It's, it's a good catalyst here. Yeah, yeah you never know. So. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say when well, you go out there, make sure. Yeah. Go out to those open mic nights. Okay. And to the karaoke and yeah. stuff like that and show yourself mm. yeah. you never know especially out there yeah. they're true. there it's true that's and what i was told bring the tracks and do this stuff yourself mm. if, they, if they allow tracks if mm. not and you just do acapella mm. my first time i ever went out to um do an open mic i didn't have anything with me just this mm -hmm. that's what i did mm -hmm. and it was all good wow. everybody liked it so you know yeah. you, you can't go wrong mm. and you're not going to make a mistake when it's just your voice you you can Mm -hmm. arrange things so it sounds good no matter yeah. what <laughs> yeah yeah it's like it it's like you're i feel like you're always rewarded when you like follow your passion yes you know like Absolutely. it doesn't it doesn't feel right initially but like all, all, all the time but no you know but then when you look back at it you can see that you've gained something from it yeah okay and uh you know okay. at least uh now do you want to try to 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 rhyme something else out for us do you have anything else up in that head of yours uh, i have a couple i have a couple of things you guys need one more rhyme in here uh, you know what i do <laughs> okay. okay i do Okay, you know, so just, we will see you next week. <laughs> next week, everybody. And we're going to let Jeremiah take it out. Yeah, we're going to let him <laughs> All right. take yeah, it he's out. Laughing. Just, he's going to get through this. It's, 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 it's just cool. keep it going. He's going if he's <laughs> really <laughs> laughing too much, it's because he's watching the white granny <laughs> dance. But, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> got to get you to come out to karaoke with yeah, us, yeah. man. You got to see. We cut up real good. Okay, <laughs> we do. <laughs> <laughs> I get up on the floor. I don't stop dancing as long as there's a beat going on. Right. So, all right, it's good to see you. Thank and you. And this is your show. So you okay. tell your friends this is your show starring Jeremiah. It doesn't, it's not, it's the Mr. Phil show starring Jeremiah Bradley. Gotcha. So you give them all that. Cool. All right. <laughs> and if you've got anybody to refer to us. Yeah. Please. Send them over. Do. Absolutely. Do, okay? Put them on the right, we're going to leave you to do this. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. I have one more. I'll do, um, I'll do, uh, I'll do an intro. I'll do it one of my intro tracks that will be on the next project. <laughs> All right. The slanted eyes, easy on the eyes, baby. My eyes low, but I'm feeling high, baby. Conversation, wanna spend some time, baby. Sunny days, tomorrow on a flight, baby. In town for the night, I can break you in. You ain't gonna get it in, hit it like I'm swimming. You know I'm the one, who you I am him. Looking for some fun, show you where it is. Catch me out in Soho. Hit the town for the night, come and get it right. You don't gotta ride solo. 
know. Yeah, come and catch a train, come and see the lights. Ooh, you know you my girl, they know you my girl, we know you my girl. You know you my girl. Hey, la 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 la. <laughs> We're out.